In the UK, it's like, I mean, I'm surprised you don't do Christmas. <laughs> 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 All right, I think we're going to get everything started. So first of all, I want to welcome you to the 2022 fifth grade uh, DARE graduation. Uh, I am Deputy Damon Robish. I'm with the Beetle County Sheriff's Office, and I probably won't use the thing because I just like to walk around and talk anyway. So first of all, I just want to welcome you guys all here. Um, like I said, my name is Deputy Damon Robish. I've been with Beetle County now for four years, or close to four years. Um, born and raised in Huron. A lot of the Hitchcock people probably know my family. My family's from here. We've been here our whole lives. My whole life, anyway. Um, for me, it was, it, was, it was good to see, uh, come back to a community where I grew up in, and then see the impact that the kids had through Dare. So it was Dare impact in my life through when I was a fifth grader, and now teaching it, I get to see these kids, and just walking into a classroom full of kids every week was, it was eye-opening to me, too. So the kids taught me some as well. So first of all, we're just gonna start uh, with the Pledge of Allegiance, and Neil's gonna lead us. So before we get into getting their diplomas and everything, I just kind of want to go over of what, what D.A.R.E. is and what we've been doing over the course of the last 10 weeks. And basically the, the old D.A.R.E. program was, we're going to inform you what drugs are and we're going to tell you not to use them. And about five years ago, D.A.R.E. America went through something and they basically said that the, the D.A.R.E. program in general was, was failing because all it was doing was informing kids about drugs telling them they're not good, but what do, you, what do kids do when you tell them that they shouldn't do something? They go out and do it most of the time. So Dare, Dare America found out that the program itself was setting up kids for failure, not helping kids think about what they should do. So the new program that Dare is, is we use the DDMM, so it's the Dare Decision Making Model, and we did that for 10 weeks straight, and every week we built on it until about week Five, and then from week five to week ten, we really just worked on that model. Now we did do a lot of things over the course of the ten weeks. Of we talked about drugs and alcohol, we talked about the effects it can have on your bodies, talks about the health effects. But ultimately, what we did is what we tried to do is change their mindset of every situation you have in daily life has consequences, and before you make that choice, you got to weigh your consequences. Okay, so the E always stood for evaluate at the end. And about week seven or eight, I can't remember which kid it was, turned to me and he goes, well the E is the easiest part because if we follow the whole step, our evaluate, to evaluate our decision, it should always be yes. And that right there makes the program actually work. It only took them seven weeks to realize that if we use this program and we weigh our consequences, we should always make the best decision. So what it does is we inform them about drugs and alcohol, but instead of just driving it home and telling them these are drugs, don't do drugs, we inform them how to, the mindset of when they are offered that drug or when they are offered that alcohol, they can say, well, my parents would, what did I tell you to say? My parents would kill me if I did that, right? So parents, I did put a little on you. I said that you could probably use your parents as a scapegoat. But I took some of it and I said you could also say that your D.A.R.E. officer would be very upset with you. 
Okay, so what we try to do is just change the mindset of them and have them change and realize that there's consequences for every choice that they do make. So with that, we're going to go into their essays, and each kid decided, or didn't decide, but I decided, and Miss Barry and I decided that they're all going to read their essays because they're all really good. So we'll start in alphabetical order. <laughs> Have you ever been unsure what to do in risky situations? Well, this essay is going to tell you how it can help. What I learned during DARE is that drugs can affect you and how to avoid risky situations. I also learned about reporting bullying and communicating effectively. How I plan to use the DARE decision making model is when somebody asks me to take a drug and how to say no properly. If I'm in a risky situation, I'll use a model to help me. In conclusion, this is how I can help you to make the right decision. During their island, to never smoke, chew, drink, or drink because it can do a lot bad, a lot of bad things to you, like. Alcohol is illegal for anyone under 21, and there are 75,000 alcohol-related deaths each year in the U.S. And why you shouldn't chew or smoke? Because smoking can give you lung cancer. It can also give you heart disease. Smokers have heart colds and upper respiratory problems. Smoking can make your teeth yellow and cause bad breath. Nicotine in cigarettes and chewing tobacco reduces the amount of blood that flows to your brain. Chewing tobacco can cause mouth cancer, tooth loss, and other health problems. How I use the dairy decision making model. I use the dairy decision making model by when we eat, my parents will ask my family what we want to eat and also we watch a movie. And also when we watch a movie, my parents will ask what we want to watch. And on days, and on days when we're not doing anything, my siblings will ask what we want to do. And that's why I think they're good to do. Dare taught me 
a lot of things. It taught me what not to do. Like not to do is not it's not good to smoke or drug, do drugs. Dare has taught me what all these words mean. Responsible. DDMM, their decision making order. Drugs. smoke or drink alcohol. Some things that can happen when smoking is lung and heart disease. Alcohol makes you drunk or can kill you. I also learned that DARE means define and assess for far and behind DDM means DARE decision making model. This is what you do for DDM. Define means describe the problem, challenge or opportunity. Assess means what are your choices. Spot means make a choice. Use the facts and info you have gathered. Evaluate and review your decision. Did you make a good choice? I learned to communicate right. Three ways are out here, confident and demanding. I learned to communicate effectively so I can have better friendships now and when I grow up. So let me tell you what I've learned so far. Doing daily ruined many things, like the effects of drug and alcohol and also smoking, and how they can affect our daily lives. We also learned about the daily decision making model, which is a, which is a model that helps you make the right decisions. The D and the daily decision making model is is means define, assess, respond, and evaluate. Another thing that we learned in Dale is com confidence, com communication, community, communicating effective, effective, <laughs> effectively, which is basically teaches you how to respond to people, and especially it's correctly and confidently. The last thing I'll tell you, the last thing I tell you about what we learned in Dale is the five W's of reporting bullying, which is who, what, when, where, and why. What, what we learned in Dale, Dale can be used in everyday life. Like sometimes in the future you might go to a job interview and you need to speak of confidence and, and you'll think that you're a good speaker and you can promote the project. If you, and if you need to tell a teacher about bullying, you can use the five W's of report uh, for reporting bullying. But I think the, the, the thing I'll use most is the dear decision making model by far, which I'll use to make a ton of important decisions. I have learned a lot during these two, 10 weeks, and we've been doing deal that we've been doing deal. And, and a lot of it I'll use as a group, especially the deal decision making model. It has been an amazing ex experience for me and my classmates. DARE is important because it teaches children how to make the right decisions and what drugs can do to your body. In DARE, we learn about responsibility, the health effects of drugs and smoking, making the right decision, peer pressure, stress, communication, bullying, and being a good citizen. Our DARE officer walked us through those using the DPM, DARE decision-making model. 
Deputy Ro Robish also taught us how to avoid bad situations. I want to thank Deputy Robish for being patient and accepting some of our crazy answers, and I want to thank Mrs. Berry for letting us cut into our school time to do dare. I can use everything that I learned in dare to make the world a better place. What's happening, what's going on? The DDM and the dear decision making model is not just for when someone asks you to smoke or vape. You can, you can use it in everyday life. I know I am. I, I am going to use the DDM, and if any of my friends ask me to play with them, then I, I can use the DDM. If my horse needs a special treatment and there's two things are the same thing, but one is more, pre one. Well, same thing, but one is price more. I will use the I, I will use what's in what I learned in there. One of my favorite memories is when we talked about budget statues. My second favorite memory is when Deputy Roger said that the Woolsey kid said that <laughs> that called an example a girl was a fa failure. We all laughed. Thank you, Deputy Robish, for everything you did to teach us, and thank you for dealing with our weird answers. We're excited, we're excited to graduate, and we're also excited to move on with life with all this new information. Lots of things. Dare is talking not to do drugs and be a better person. It is talking to say no and walk away. It is also talking not to be mean and respond. Also, to help people out. After that, I would tell my little sister all about what we did. The reason drugs are bad is because smoking can cause brain and lung damage. Also, chewing tobacco has killed over 400,000 people and alcohol has killed over. 75,000 people each year in the U.S. Dare has taught me to respond. Like if someone gets in trouble at recess, to come in and tell the teacher who did it and who is he doing it to. What is happening, where is it happening, and why is it happening? Good people to tell if that happens is your teacher, the parents, and the principal. That is why Dare is awesome. Dare has also taught me the DDMM. The DDMM stands for Dare Decision Making Model. The DDMM has taught me to not make bad decisions like drinking pop or sugar before getting a game. The DDMM has also taught me good decisions like getting lots of sleep and even eating foods like fruits, vegetables, and meats. If I didn't take Dare later on in my life, I could do a lot of drugs. I could end up in the hospital because of lung cancer or brain damage. That is why Darren is awesome and teaches me good lessons. I've learned a lot that there. I've learned what alcohol and cigarettes can do. I've learned to do it only. I've also learned to avoid Avoid places where drug use is expected. Also, to just change the subject, if somebody offers you that stuff, you should never do drugs, drink, or smoke. I will always use the I will always use the DDM to make smart decisions. tempted by a friend or classmate to try tobacco or alcohol, do you know, know how to handle it or what to say? This is what I've learned in it. We learned how tobacco and alcohol affect your body and mind. For example, loss of coordination, poor judgment, memory loss, and loss of self-control. Alcohol also weakens the heart muscles and reduces the amount of blood pumped 
to and from the heart. Tobacco damages your teeth and skin. There, there are a lot of deaths caused by alcohol and tobacco. The DARE decision-making model is define, assess, res respond, and evaluate. This model helps me to describe my problem, what my choices are, use the facts and information I gather to make a good choice. Then evaluate, uh, evaluate my choices. I have not used this model yet, but I will use it in the future. The next time I'm tempted to use alcohol or tobacco, I will remember what they do to my body and use the decision-making model to make the right choice. In there, I, I learned many things. Some of those things are never to smoke, chew tobacco, or never to take drugs. The DDMM has helped me with a couple of things in a couple of times. I hope that I can use it with everyday life and the rest of my life. DARE is very fun and educational. The five W's have helped them a couple of times too. Hopefully, everybody that has done DARE has had fun.
Neil Solomon. Talon Schultz. Brecken Walder. Josephine Weedy. I guess Damon wants me to say a couple words. So, uh, I've been around here uh, in law enforcement now 26 years, and I started teaching there about my uh, second year in, at, in law enforcement. Um, and it's always a pleasure to come to Hitchcock and get to meet the kids. I, I can tell here we got a couple speed readers coming up. You know, they're going to be the people at the end of those commercials where they read about the ADR rates. We got a couple of them, and we got a couple of track stars, too. They can run up here and run back. But what, what's really interesting is when I sit over there and watch the kids get up, and I can almost put every kid with a parent. Because, you know why? Why I could put you, figure out who your parents are? Because they're glowing when they see you up here. All right? They all of a sudden, they perk up and they smile. And they go, oh, hey, that's my kid talking about not doing drugs. Right? That's what they want. Do you think anybody in here, any parent, says, boy, I hope my kid grows up to do drugs? No. No. And I don't know how much Damon got into it with you, but... That's what we see a lot of now, all right? We got alcohol, right? And pretty soon, I guarantee you that marijuana will probably be legal in the state of South Dakota. So there's going to be more things that you're going to have to fight against, right? And that's why you have your parents to support you. That's why you, you talk about the their decision-making model. You talk about alcohol. You talk about drugs to your parents, and your parents talk to you about that. Now, do you think you'll ever let them down? No, never. <laughs> There's going to be some times where you let them down, right? But your parents know they're going to build you right back up, and you're going to go for it again and be the best that you can. Like I said, no parent has ever wanted just dreamt that, oh, man, I hope my kid grows up to be a drug dealer or a doper. All right? We see a lot of it, and we're seeing a lot more of it now than we have in the past. And, and I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It's, it's out there. There's a lot of it. We had uh, four overdoses last week in Huron, where the police came and used their Narcan to wake the people up and actually send them to the emergency room. Everybody lived through it, but there's a lot of stuff out there right now. A lot. And el or, uh, marijuana... And alcohol are probably some of the most abused stuff, but methamphetamine's right up there too. And if you would have said five years ago or ten years ago, oh, we don't have a meth problem in here, and I would have said you're probably right. But today, it's a very big problem. So if it's in Huron, it's in Beetle County. If it's in Beetle County, it's in Wolsey. It's probably in Hitchcock too. So keep your eyes open. You got a great looking group of kids there. That's for sure. Uh, they got a bright future ahead of them. I mean, I was in Miss Barry's room for about 110 years teaching there, I think. <laughs> Actually, I was in the old school. I started when the old school was there, and I got to go into that old school. That was a pleasure, right? But so I've been around a while. I've seen a lot. But you guys, what you have is you have the support of your school, your administrators, Dare instructor, right? He's a pretty good guy. Yeah, he's a real good guy. And you got the support of your parents. So with that, rely on your parents. Talk to them. Parents, talk to the kids. Thank you.
before we take some pictures, the students would really like to thank you, Deputy Bobish, if you would come forward. We have a couple things for you. So just in closing, that takes us basically to the end of our program, but um, before I left, I, I have to thank a couple people. Uh, first of all, I have to uh, thank Mr. Clark just for having it, an option to come into the school, okay? Uh, that sounds stupid and sounds crazy, but it it's on the school that we're in here, okay? First of all, and then I gotta thank Sheriff Stolen for sending me to school and letting me be trained. And like I said, uh, the first time I used this in Woolsey yesterday is when he told me that I was the new D.A.R.E. officer, it was, it was a conversation. <laughs> but but uh, after, after being in D.A.R.E. Up there and coming to see the kids, and it, it's a no-brainer, and we'll do it again, that's for sure. Um, then I got to thank Miss Barry, uh, always fluctuating schedules and allowing us to come in and taking the time out of the classroom, okay, that's big too because there was times that I didn't give her much notice that it wasn't going to happen or that I could come these days, so I want to thank her and then the parents. I want to thank you guys because you had the option too uh, and it is important and Dairy is an important program to have into the schools and I want to thank you guys for having your kids in class and allowing them to go through the D.A.R.E. program. So, thank you. <laughs>